Twilight Doesn't, written by Coyote de la Mancha. You know, I always wondered what the exact difference was between a debacle and a calamity. Now I think I know. Tonight was a debacle. <laughs> I'll say. I've never seen Fluttershy like that. Nor seen Rarity so ticked off. Better than the wet hand. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, Melinda. No offense. The two ponies were leaned against the wooded fence next to one another, facing the east. Neither of them had slept the previous night. While the Grand Galloping Gala was generally expected to last well into the early morning, their first experience had ultimately ended in total chaos. So, once the dust had settled, the six friends had spent hours hanging out with Spike. They'd let him show them the sights by way of apology for forgetting him in their earlier excitement. It was generally acknowledged that the time with Spike had, in fact, been the highlight of the night. Now it was two hours even after that. Once Spike was safely asleep in the library, Applejack had walked home with Twilight accompanying her. Behind them, Sweet Apple Acres was just starting to stir. And I never saw Princess Celestia like she was tonight. I mean, I'm glad she was happy. It was the happiest I'd ever seen her, aside from when Princess Luna returned. But in all the years I've been her student, she always seemed so serene, so formal, almost aloof. Now, I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. She wanted the party disrupted? Maybe she just wanted to see that snot-nosed nephew of hers get her comeuppance. I gotta say, I weren't too impressed with him myself. When I think of what that critter said about my apple fritters, it still makes my blood boil. Not to mention how he treated Rarity. Yeah, I can only imagine what it must be like, having your heart broken like that. Well now, I don't know as I go that far. Applejack rolled her eyes a little. You gotta bear in mind, this is rarity. As much as I do love her to death, she can kind of be a drama queen. Yeah, a little bit. Still, I suppose it must be disappointing having your cap set for a fella and finding out he's such a jerk. Being worse than being told off from the start. Twilight looked out at the dawn. I suppose I've never had the experience. Never been turned down or never asked a jerk? No, I mean, I've never asked. Oh, well, I guess that makes sense. But you've been asked. Twilight shrugged. I suppose. Applejack nodded. Yeah, that's about where I'm at. But rarity. <laughs> she chuckled, shaking her head. I do declare, I've never seen a man with such demanding taste in the fellas set up and get up. Twilight cocked an eyebrow. Meaning? Well, let's just say a pony's gotta be able to afford her. Now, don't get me wrong, she added a Twilight frown. I ain't no calling her a gold digger. That gal to give her own tail to help a critter out, and we were both there when she did. A Celestia knows she is a mare who wants for peppering. Them as can't need not apply. Me? I ain't so demanding. Applejack mused, her own gaze returning eastward. All I want some pony I know I can love, and know they love me back. Some pony I can wake up with in the morning and watch him sleep a little before I get up. She smiled. Some pony I can trust in my heart. Even when times are bad, and who smiles when I touch their mane. The rest is kind of negotiable, you know? Then her smile faded, and she went on. But me and Sweet Apple Acres, we're a package deal. They wouldn't have to buck apples or paint the barn. I can do all that myself. But to be with me, they have to move in here. The farm is a big part of my life, Twa. I'll support them in all their endeavors and I need them to support me and mine. <sighs> and for the few ponies I've ever looked at, that's been a deal breaker. A big one. Twilight stared. That's crazy! 
It's so beautiful here. How? Applejack shrugged. I don't know, but that's the way it is. I reckon Big Mac might get hitched someday. Maybe he'll move out, or maybe they'll raise their kids here. I'd like that. Apple will find some pony, too, like as not. And maybe she'll move off somewhere to be with him. Though I'd miss her something fierce. But for me, I'll live out my life right here on the farm, with an apple tree in my grave when I pass. She smiled again. And that suits me right down to the ground. The breeze toyed with our manes as it went by, smelling pleasantly of apple blossoms and green grass. After a time, Applejack said, So, what do you look for? When? In a partner. Oh, um, I don't. Applejack cocked her head. You mean like, it'll happen when it happens? No, I mean like, I'm not looking for anything to happen. Twilight hesitated for a moment, then took the plunge. I'm not attracted to any pony. Mares, stallions, whatever. I'm not into it. <sighs> I'm asexual. Applejack blinked. Oh, well, all right then. Twilight let out her breath. <sighs> you okay there? Relieved and glad, Twilight leaned her head on Applejack's shoulder. I'm fine, thanks. Smiling, Applejack leaned her own head on Twilight's. Anytime, sure, Cube. After a while, when they were side by side again, Twilight's gaze turned wistful. Too bad for your thoughts? Oh, I was just remembering when I tried to talk to my mom about it. It didn't go so well. She want a grandfold someday, huh? Twilight shrugged. It wasn't even that. She was just so convinced that I could never have a fulfilling life unless I was doing it. She slipped into an impression of her mother. Oh, honey, I just know you'd like it if you tried it. Applejack stared at her. Seriously? Uh-huh. I tried to explain to her that I didn't want to try it. That I was perfectly happy without... <sighs> she just couldn't get it. I mean, she wasn't mean about it. And she tried to be supportive towards the end. But just the same, I walked away thinking that Maybe there was something wrong with me after all. Sounds pretty rough. How old were you? Thirteen. And, yeah, I was pretty wrecked. Fortunately, I had been Princess Celestia's student for a while by then, and I talked to her about it when I got back from break. Yeah, I gotta say, the princess is a fine lady. She gets you back on track? Twilight nodded. Uh-huh. She knew exactly where I was coming from, in fact. No pony brings it up in Canterlot, so I didn't know until we talked. But it's no secret that she's not into sex either. Never had a lover, never going to, and perfectly happy. I reckon that must have helped. Twilight grinned. Well, it's hard to think that you're a total misfit when your mentor's the same way. Huh. Which Rainbow had that kind of look? Twilight frowned. Why? What happened? Oh, it was a while back. But when she was a little filly, I guess she got seven different shades of hay over being into mares. Rainbow Dash? But every pony she's ever looked at has been a stallion. Sure. But Cloudsdale ain't like Canterlot, nor even like Ponyville. Farther away from the princess, maybe. And Rainbow stood out in a lot of ways. So it didn't matter if she was or she wasn't. It was just something to call a pony like it was an insult. And for the other folks to pick on her about. It. They did. She shook her head. Gone to some nasty fights, I guess. When she was little. 
if you can call three on one or five on one a fight. Twilight stared in disbelief. That's horrible. Well, times are better nowadays. Just the same, though. You got a death wish, you would just start talking down about other folks' preferences around her. One time, she overheard a couple of fillies giving Apple Bloom a rough time on her way home, saying stuff about her and Sweetie Belle. The way I hear it, Dash might as well have stabbed them bullies that scared him to death. One of them, Silver Spoon, she went on about how she was going to tell her daddy before she ran off, but nothing came of it. So either she didn't, or he decided she was in the wrong. They watched the sun rise together a while longer, in comfortable silence. Well, I better get going. Got a lot of chores to do. But listen. She put a hoof on Twilight's shoulder, and Twilight turned to be met by Applejack's eyes as the orange mirror spoke to her in a voice both serious and gentle. Comes down to it, Twi. You ever change your mind about farm living? You just let me know, okay? Twilight smiled. Aw, thanks, AJ. They hugged briefly, and Applejack trotted into the barn. Twilight went back to contemplating the dawn for a moment, before her head whipped back around to stare at the barn in wonder. Wait, what? <laughs>